okay now today we will start a new topic from our subject science that is parts of a plant in the last class we have learned about living things and non living things but today's class we will learn about plants you know my dear students there are so many plants surrounding us isn't it you have seen many more plants but today what will we do we will draw a plant draw with me so we will start with this is a ground level okay below the ground level which part is there yes roots below the ground level roots are present isn't it yes these are roots of the plant then stem the next part is stem this is the leaf again stem grows another one leaf came again stem grows first the tree prepare a bud then it develops into a flower is that it my students now again two see these are the some parts of plants okay so let us quickly label those plants see here these are roots then stem this is a leaf then before the flower which part came bud then this one is flower is it fruit okay see students they, this is a label diagram of a plant a plant having roots stem leaf bud then develop into the flower then the fruit these are the parts of a plant let us learn the function of each part see here roots what is the function of this roots what roots do yes roots are very important in a plant isn't it to suck to take the water nutrients minerals and it suck from the soil and provide to each and every part of a plant isn't it then then comes stem what's the main function of stem here what stem do stem gives the strength to the plant so to stood firmly steadily stem helps okay now let us move on to the leaf here my dear students there are many colors in the leaf so green dark green yellow red sometimes pink these colors are depend upon the material present inside the leaf see some uh, leaf having colors means pink red that are indoor plants we can keep those plants inside our house but the green plants what is the main purpose of this leaf is to prepare food through photosynthesis process photosynthesis process means what using heat light from sun and air what leaf do leaf prepare food for the entire plant okay then let us move on to the bud this is the first step of development of the flower after bud formation then it forms flower okay flower do you know there are many more colors of flowers are there i have a plant okay this is a rose plant see in the rose plant leaves are present here okay and here this is a flower which color of the flower is this yes this is red color flower there are many more colors of flowers are there then after flower we will move on to the fruit here this is the another part of a plant 
fruit. What is the main function of a fruit? See, the main function of the flower is reproduction. Means to produce young one, it helps young plant to produce seed. After flower, it develops a seed. Means fruit. And inside the fruit, seed is present. For example, mango. Do you know? Inside the mango, there is a big seed, which is the seed of mango plant. Okay? So, inside the fruit, we have seeds. So, in this room, there are how many fruits are there? In which, inside there are many seeds. For example, watermelon. You can take watermelon. Inside watermelon, watermelon is a fruit, isn't it? And inside that, we will find so many seeds for the watermelon plant. So, main function of the fruit is also reproduction. Okay. So, this is the part we have learned in the third standard. We, will, we have revised it thoroughly. Isn't it my dear students? So, now roots have two types. Fibrous root and tap root. Isn't it? Fibrous root is the seed one. And the tap root is how it look like? See, it is deep in the soil. It grows deep in the soil. So, this is the main difference between the types of roots. See, we have seen many more vegetables. Do you know, some vegetables are a part of a plant. Okay, I will show you some images. See here, which image is this? Cabbage, very good. Okay, cabbage. Is which part of the plant? Cabbage is a leaf. Very nice. Then, then we will move on to the next image. See, which vegetable is this? Yes, this is carrot. Okay. Okay, what is the color of the carrot? Orange color. Very good. So, let us quickly guess which part of the plant is this? Yes, this is root. Very nice. It grows deep into the soil. So it is root. Then, then let us find out which vegetable comes now. See? Yes, this is the onion. And onion is which part? Onion is a stem. Like the potato. Potato is also a stem. So, my dear students, today in our class, we have learned about various parts of a Plant. These are the basic parts of a plant. Roots, stem, leaf, bud, flower and fruit. These are the main parts of a plant. And we have seen the vegetables, some of the examples of the vegetables which are of different parts. See for example cabbage we have taken that is leaf. Then we have taken which one? A onion. Onion is a stem. Then carrot. Carrot is a root. Do you know tomato? Tomato which part is this? Tomato is fruit. Very good. You know in the kitchen there are so many vegetables are present. See you take any one vegetable and guess which part of the plant is this. And okay. Now we will learn about germination. Do you know students what is the meaning of germination? When we put seed into the soil, the plant grows. This process we call as germination. Okay, let's watch a video. In that, you will understand the process of germination. Okay. Alicia is helping her mother in the kitchen to make lemonade. Let us go and join them. Mama, can I take these seeds and plant them in the garden? I will have my own lemon plant then. Of course you can. Have you ever wondered how a tiny seed grows into a new plant? Let us find out. Seeds as you already know are produced by plants. They are present inside the fruits. To get a new plant, a seed is sown in the soil. After a seed is sown in the soil, we add water to it. This water is absorbed by the seed. Water softens the seed coat and the baby plant breaks open the seed. The baby plant comes out of the seed. 
This baby plant is called a seedling. This process by which a seed grows into a seedling is called germination. After the baby plant breaks open the seed, a tiny shoot comes out of it and grows upwards. It is called plumule. The plumule grows into the stem and leaves of the new plant. Along with plumule, a tiny root also comes out of the seed and grows downwards. This is called radical. The radical grows to form the root of the new plant. And soon this baby plant grows into an adult plant. Did you watch the video? Yes. What, what was that in that video? So in that video, that girl put the lemon seeds into the soil. Then what happened? Day by day, day by day, she put water into that. Then the lemon plant grows. This process is called as germination. And like this, a plant grows. So today in this class, we have learned about various parts of a plant and the process of germination. And also some vegetables we have recognized. So which part of the plant is that? Okay, in the next class, we will learn some next class.